Um, actually, uh, it was three each, so for a total of six. So okay, I said right. three of the women, and I think what I did was my angle was more on how you make jeans new again, only because it's always there in our closet and it's just sitting there, and you know, just new updates on how to wear it for this season. So I hope you guys learn something from it. Definitely. How about you, Vince? How did you go? Uh, yes, actually, the same manner as Daryl styled it. Uh, we wanted to convey a sense of newness to actually wearing denim. Uh, I sort of incorporated a few trends that I really like this season, uh, especially like with this up upcoming season, which is summer. Uh, I also played around with the idea of, you know, just a few layers and progressions on how you can actually dress it down or dress it up. So those are the things I played around with. Excellent. And we're going to be seeing that yes. in real life on your models slash winners yes. in just a moment. So we're so grateful to have the two of you here with us. And Thank we're so excited to learn and, of course, expand our styling arsenal using Uniqlo's jeans. But, okay, now I'm going to talk to you guys in the audience, okay? Eyes up for just a second over here. Hi. So, <laughs> it's very important. I'm telling you right now. I'm not going to tell you why just yet, but it's very important that you listen to what Daryl and Vince will be telling us later. It's very exciting, right? I just want to tell them already, but I can't tell them yet. So listen closely, take notes if you have to, because we have a very special game for you guys later. And so listening up will be very, very important, and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so as mentioned earlier, we were able to style six of your winners in today's styling session. For our female participants, once again, Daryl took care of that. And Vince will be presenting the men's looks. And let's let's dive right in, shall we? So I'm going to leave you guys to it. I'm going to give the floor to you while we welcome our model slash winners. And I'll be right over here to chat with you guys. Okay, great. Let's go for it. For our first pair of participants, we were able to select a sporting, uh, they're sporting a denim on denim look. So first, let us welcome Chi Concepcion and Jay Puradera. Yay. She is wearing a pair of high-rise straight jeans. Daryl, can you tell us a little bit about how you styled her? Okay, um, well, the regular or the usual trend that we all know is denim on denim. So what I did with this look, with this look is I did the denim on denim on denim. So that's three denims at the same time. Um, and I actually super like this fit. This is the one that I'm wearing right now also. It's the high-rise straight. Um, if you are the talk in your Instagram explore page, all the, well, mostly, most of the street style stars that we follow use this fit. I mean, they don't wear the boyfriend jeans anymore, and they're not much into skinnies, but there are still some. But the fashion forward girls actually wear the high rise straight only because it sits on the waist and it gives a more, how do you say it? Um, it's more relaxed and the, the figure is also more um, pronounced as opposed to the boyfriend which sits in the middle and it's not high waist. Cause it, that's why it's called the boyfriend because you borrow it from your boyfriend, right? It was pegged from that and most of the guys don't come and wear high waisted jeans, right? So this, the high-waisted jean talaga is really created for the woman's figure. So I recommend that you try it on later because it's my favorite silhouette now. And how I styled it is with the denim and denim and denim as I mentioned before. And the new update on this is instead of just one look or just one tone, I did it with three shades, kind of like a patchwork denim. So that's the very light one, and the medium one, and the dark shade. So um, what I'm going to do now is, if you like this look, I mean, it's okay. But I understand that the climate here is so hot also. And the denim jacket is sometimes a, uh, um, it's, I don't know, it's either a yes or a no sometimes. So for a lighter version, we can actually exchange the denim jacket to a chambray top. Also a uh, styling tip, because I also like shopping in the men's section. This is actually a men's jacket in a size large because I like it with a bit more room to move and she likes it also, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm gonna 
change the jacket now while I turn you over to Vince so you can see like the different look but denim. still a denim and denim trend. Denim for days. Thank yes. you very much, Chi and Daryl. How about you, Vince? How okay. do you style Jay? He's in the Easy Y jeans. Yes. So tell uh, a little bit about it. Actually, Jay is, well, if you can see, we started with a very, very basic look. I wanted you guys to see how you can actually progress a look. Jay's, uh, Jay's a very athletic uh, guy, so I chose the Easy Y jeans for him because it's very lightweight, it's stretchable, it's breathable, it's something that you can actually take in and out of the gym, maybe whether you're going to the gym or coming from the gym. So most guys who are live, a, live an active lifestyle, tend to go with this look. You have like a block neck parka, and then you have like a, you know, maybe a, like a dry EX shirt. But what I wanted you to, what I wanted to show is actually how you can actually update this athletic look into, you know, more of like a denim and denim look. So you can actually change the jacket. And then you can actually wear a darker shade. What I would normally recommend is to actually, again as Daryl mentioned, choose and play with different shades of denim. Yeah, because so, it's a very like a very seasonal update also exactly, on denim. Yeah. To to make it look like it's patched work. Yeah. So it's and, three different kinds of shades. Yeah, and to avoid looking like maybe this wall it's one shade of denim. So Pero <laughs> then, <laughs> And then what I wanted you guys what what I wanted to share with you guys is the idea of also of reversing how you layer things. So you know, you can actually layer a jacket, the chambray over the jacket to create a different silhouette. In this case, I actually got like an oversized uh, chambray to create a different look as well. As you can see, I think the, the common denominator among our styling is that we actually like oversized silhouettes. It looks more current also relaxed, more relaxed and um, a little cool in a way yes it's very cool and it really says fashion yeah so okay um so this is the look that i was talking about if you exchange the denim jacket to a chambray button down it's still very i mean fashion and but in a more relaxed and comfortable yeah. vibe so so there, so that's how you can do like triple denim. Triple denim. And, and in my case, if you're actually too, you know, uh, if I think if you're too, uh, I think, layered, you can actually take it out and tie it on your waist. So you can actually create, again, different, like an ombre effect. So you can actually still work the denim look. Mm -hmm. to like have a different different shades and different like you can create like an ombre effect as well yeah and um yes yeah, so i was gonna ask chi uh now that you know like the triple denim friend where would you where would you wear this or you know um i could basically pull it off um when i travel because i travel a lot and um you know it's the jeans are non-iron so i can take it off easily on my luggage and just I'm um, good to go, yeah. It suits my style, sorry. It suits my style. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're correct. Jeans are actually non iron so you just roll it up in your luggage, and so you're good to go after that. And you can actually play with so many looks also with just one jeans. So I would super recommend it when you travel. Yeah, and the great thing about chambray it is even if it's gusot, it looks good. You know, it's not something that yeah, needs to be lovely. super iron, super polished, so it's very, you know, relaxed. That's why we love them. Yeah. Okay. Can't get enough of that denim, hey guys. And I think this was a really great set because you get to see how you elevate, you elevate your jeans. And it's not just, you know, something that you, you can only use on a casual day. And you can look like this, you can look so polished. And, and it's jeans, it's denim on denim on denim. And I think it's great. So thank you very much to our models, thank our you, first Chi. set of winners, Chi and Jay, for our denim on denim on denim look. <laughs> how, are we guys, how are we doing, you guys? Have we learned something new already? Are we taking our notes? Yes. yes? Very good. Make sure you take those.
those notes because you might just get something special and a little something something later. All right, let's welcome our next models and our next 10 winners, Ava Nicole Zabak and Raphael Yap. Yeah. Yay! Hey, Ava. Hello, so look at these pops of color. Ava is wearing a, hat, a pair of high-rise cigarette jeans. Daryl, what is the story of this color story? Okay, um... Earlier, she was wearing a high-rise straight jeans. This one is a high-rise cigarette slip. Cigarette slip. Um, the difference between the two is if you're not that ready to give up skinny jeans yet, because we all have naman our favorite fits, diba? Skinny would look awesome on some, straight would look awesome on some, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have skinny jeans in their closets. So for those who can't let go of the skinny jean fit, the new update is the high-rise waist. Again, it's made for the women, and um, it gives a more figure or a form-fitting shape as opposed to a low-waist one. And of course, the low-waist one is so pretty spears, diba? Ayaw natin So, yeah, so this one, this one is very current also, and it comes with rips also, but it also comes without rips, the styles. And um, the the way I styled this was that I wanted to put in color and pastels for summer is very big as well as neons. So I mixed both together. Well, this is not very neon, but it's a bit bright for I know for Uniqlo. And I actually like the pastel and bright combination, the melon and yellow, and it looks pretty fresh. It looks very summer. And I also added a pop of fuchsia on the feet, so that's like three colors already. But if you want one more color on you, you can actually add an overcoat if you're going to travel or um, anywhere actually that's cold. And I wanted to show you how it looks like that you can actually wear four colors in one outfit. And there you go. So four colors in one outfit, who would have thought, right? So Vince, your turn. Okay, so once again, that was the high-rise cigarette pants. And let's move on to Vince, shall we? With your Easy Y color jeans. So coming from the Easy Y jeans, the typical jeans with a denim finish, uh, I think a lot of guys would be happy to know that Uniqlo has Easy Y uh, color jeans. Uh, which means that you can actually have jeans that have different colors. It comes in like khaki, maybe like a nice pale blue. And then I think I saw a picture of a salmon-ish color that's coming in soon. So I would recommend like for Rafi, actually when I asked him, what's your color palette? Your girl. So, <laughs> like, I'm sorry, you're wearing brights. <laughs> so but what I'm saying, what I told him that, it's. It's nice to, I was telling him you're young, you know, and if the trend now is really bright, try to experiment with brights. And I really picked the brightest color, and I told him that if he wants to offset this look, he can actually pair it with this really nice linen. So then, if you look at this, you still see the hint of brights, but then you get that really cool, relaxed, slightly summer feel of, you know, linen and hoodie. And if you want to maybe play with another layer of color, we can actually... So, and then I told him that if he is feeling a little more experimental, adventurous, adventurous he can actually play with primary colors. So if you're scared of playing with brights, you can actually go for primary, which is like yellow, red, blue, and in this case, <laughs> I saw this really nice pajama top. It comes in a set, and it really looks good when worn out of the house. So it's something that you can actually wear out of the house, out of your bed. So, and it comes in different shades. So this is something you can actually do also if you wanna play with colors and brights. And the last, and if he's feeling extra,
he can actually wear another bright shape. In this case, I chose his really neon orange jacket. Or if you really want to stop traffic in Esa. Yeah. yeah, if you want to stop traffic in Esa, you have this one. <laughs> stop, literally, stop. So this is something that I really like too. It's very playful, it's very young, it's very fresh. So this is something you can do if you want to play with color. And again, if you want to offset it and avoid looking like, you know, a color bomb, you can always use neutrals to offset it. Thank you, color okay. people. Yes, also, thank I was going to ask Eva, um, did you ever think that you were going to go beyond two colors? Or how many colors do you think can you do? Well, I thought I could only do two, but I was actually surprised that I could pull off more than two today, and they actually look so good together. And maybe I can add another color if I have a bag. Oh, wow. So oh, here, now here. you're the stylist. Okay, I'm going to go this bag. <laughs> So Rafi, what's your favorite color that you can that you will add to your neutral wardrobe amongst the ones that we wore? Um, I think I can probably create uh, something to citrus. Okay, citrus. Orange. Okay, great. Okay. It's nice. Seeing you experiment with color. I'm so proud. <laughs> We're okay. so, so proud. Are, is there anything you'd like to add? I forgot. We're good with the colors. Right, thank, okay, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, so far we've learned, don't be afraid of color, number one. And number two, wear your pajamas out of the house. Yes. <laughs> Give it a try. <laughs> Thank you to Ava and Raphael. Let's call on stage now our next participants, our last pair, Stephanie Nicole Javier and Edward Maalihan. Okay, so Daryl, let's start with you. Um, Stephanie is in the ultra stretch jeans, but with a corporate look. Mm -hmm. So tell us how you put this together. Well, um, Stephanie's look is very me, but it's not obvious, right? <laughs> yeah, um, I love suits because it has the power to streamline anything. And if you want to look polished, automatically you can just put on a oh, sorry, you can just put on any suit, and you will look put together. Um, she is wearing, Steph is wearing the ultra stretch jeans and it's very versatile because it is very stretched. Yeah. So you can wear it anywhere. Actually, I wasn't really going for a corporate look for this. You can actually wear this anywhere uh, to go to church, to go to the restaurant, to go on a date because I think suiting right now, the stretch jeans a bit more current with the suit because it everything that you pair with the suit makes it look current. Um, this is the slouchy blazer for women's, but I also wanted to show you how a men's blazer would look like on, a, on the same frame. I personally would prefer a men's jacket only because it's more boxy, like the one that I'm wearing, and it's more structured, while the women's is a bit more curved. But, you know, it's up to you, whatever your body decides or whatever looks good on you, that's always the number one rule. So you don't really have to follow to what I'm saying because it's really you who knows you best. Yeah, the great thing about the blazers here at Unigo is they're very lightweight. You know, they're very breathable. Exactly. So, you know, the, you know, regardless of what size you get, it's really more for me like the fabric. Mm -hmm. Especially here in the Philippines, you want it very lightweight, wrinkle-free, you mm -hmm. know, so... Yes, so I just wanted to show you the look of the slouchy jacket, so it looks like this. But I will change her into a, like a more tailored one also while I turn you over to Vince while he discusses. Okay, so that was these ultra Hello, stretch okay. jeans. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so Vince, you have styled, you've styled Edward wearing the slim fit salvage jeans. So tell us a little bit about how you put this together. It's very cosmopolitan, I think. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to break down a look. So what we do, if we build it on a look previously, now I'm going to dissect the look. So what I did now is this is like the final look. So if the what I like about the service jeans is it's very polished. So you can actually throw on polished clothes to actually complete the look. In this case, this is something you can actually wear when you're probably traveling in a cold weather uh, country. Uh, but what, what you see inside is if you, if you take out the trench coat, 
This is for the more fashion forward guys. If you want to create a different, you know, spin, you can actually tuck in your blazer into your jeans. Uh, so this is sort of like a level three difficulty <laughs> when it comes to fashion. Uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, I love how lightweight the uniform blazers are. So you can actually tuck it in and it doesn't really look bulky. And if you're more, you know, less, more conservative, but still want to be more fashion, you can actually and then roll up the sleeves and then create a different look. Now in this case, I want to show you something that's very interesting about the service jeans. Uh, the thing with the service jeans is actually if you fold the jeans, you actually see the, st the stitching on the sides and that it's polished. the stitching on the side it looks really nice so it's something that you can actually show off so you can do like a triple fold and then it creates a different look automatically okay before I do my last look I'll turn it over to Daryl so we're back with the men's jacket on her and um, it looks more structured it looks more streamlined also and um, I wanted and the funny thing is when Vince and I were doing the styling for this, we were separate and then when we came back to the room, we actually did the same styling. The suit was tucked into the jeans, which was his first look before he took all the layers off. And here's another new update on how to work your skinny jeans and your ultra stretch jeans. You can actually tuck in a suit inside it and make it look new. And... So this is my last look, and this is for the guys who are level one. So, <laughs> meaning if you are still want to be more fashion but a little shy, this is something that you can try. And I think what I want to introduce also is for guys who want who want to buy and get the selfish jeans is that you can actually change the fold. So if you're wearing something simple here, you can actually change the fold of your jeans to make it more interesting down there. Vince is um, holding his salvage jeans. I was gonna ask Steph, um, which of the two fits of the suits do you like most? Do you like the slouchy or the tailored one? I mean, coming from you, because you know I would go with the tailored one, obvi obviously. But what about you? I prefer the tailored one because not just you can use it like the usual way you, you wear it, you can add volume into it, you can add puff on the sleeve like this so that you can see the shape of your body and you can also um, have more form. Yeah, have more form, have more volume uh, to have more expression. And drama, yes. Okay, Vince. Okay, so as you can see, I did a super thick fold and it, the, the thing with Savage is that it sticks on its own, so it doesn't fall off. So you can actually create a really high cuff so what I did for this look, because the top is simple, you create something interesting down there and create a thick cuff, which I really like, obviously. <laughs> obviously also. <Yeah. laughs> and then if you, if you want to add more spice to it, you can actually do a lower cuff. So automatically it creates another different feel. So those are the things that are, those are the small things you can actually do to play with your denim. There. Okay, well more options and better ways to style up our corporate looks are always welcome. And I think it's safe to say that the unique low jeans line is definitely making it so easy to do, don't you guys think? So thank you very much to Edward and Stephanie. Hang out on stage. Thank you, Steph. Stay right there. Because we are calling on the rest of our con our contest winners to please come back on stage. So we can see all of your looks in one grand lineup. So 
quick rundown of our looks that we've got going on here. Sporting a denim on denim look, we have Chi wearing the high rise straight jeans and Jay wearing the easy wide jeans. Telling their own color stories through, the, through their outfits, we have Ava wearing the high rise cigarette jeans and Raphael wearing the easy wide color jeans. Modeling the corporate look tonight, we have Stephanie in the ultra stretch jeans and Edward in the slim fit salvage jeans. Looking great, everybody. This is a great time to take your photos. Nice here. We'll give you one more quick Thank moment you. to take your photos. Now's your chance, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is how we style up the latest collection.